I think Alberta is very unique because um, it seems we seem to have the spirit that we could do anything. You also see a lot of uh, women entrepreneurs in uh, food businesses. It's amazing. We're an innovative province. We believe in sustainability and we practice sustainability. What do you do to make sure that you actually are supporting local suppliers and producers? What do you do to make sure that happens? I try to look past some of the labels and learn about the farmers. I love knowing the stories behind the farms. I do find that there are some stores that are very much highlighting uh, Alberta products, yeah. and I go there. I am a farmer, and I prefer to cook locally grown produce, locally grown meats. I think people in every city should try to buy local uh, for one very obvious reason. If you want your stuff fresh, then you should shorten the distance between the producer and the consumers. You know, in the 80s and the 90s, I think we saw a lot of a lot of processed foods and a lot of packaging. And I think what happened was there's a bit of a revolt against it. So hence the slow food movement, the farm to table. Yeah, so I think that having reconnecting people with where a food actually comes from I, it is an important step. I think uh, local food found me as a chef. Uh, growing up on a farm, it always made sense to me to cook uh, with all the food surrounding me. I think we've seen great strides in sustainability and there's new respect for people who produce our food and people who uh, take care of the land in a sustainable fashion. we've all heard about it where there's a direct uh, producer to consumer sales possible with meat. I love Alberta chicken. Yeah, yeah. It was, it and was Alberta fabulous. chicken is like supreme. I mean, we just we just roasted it was some wonderful. today for our, our pizzas. Yeah, it was so, lovely. So I mean, it was, I, I did a simple dry brine on it today right. and then we roasted it and it was plump and juicy yeah. and it was perfect for, the, for these pizzas brings me close to my grandmother knowing that we can cook like as good as they did with nothing, with nothing, no refrigeration. Yeah. And they made wonderful meals that we remember as children. An Alberta woman it means to me to be an advocate for local cuisine. Um, it means to me to be a mentor to a local chefs. We are the ones who can make the change and we are the ones who have to be able to support the farmers and through that, whether it's through policy or whether it's just through purchasing power alone, that's, that's what the Alberta farmers need. Food is the most important thing. It gel people together, it, it gel the family together, friends and communities. Nothing brings a memory to a person more than food. You taste a food and you think, oh, my grandmother made that. And so I think it's a, a generational thing. And Alberta farmers are like farmers right across this country, driven by a real love for Alberta, a real love for the uh, diversification and the innovation that we see in Alberta. So, you know, we have the, the most amazing dairy, we have like amazing chicken, we have bison, we have greens, we have pulses. Like all these leading produce and suppliers that could rival anybody in, in the world. The food produced in Alberta is the best in the world. Well, this has been an awesome discussion and uh, thank you for sharing the Alberta's Bounty food today and uh, it's an amazing meal and thank you for your time and, and having this amazing discussion. And thank you, thank you, Chef, and thank you, Christine.